Hey guys, it's Brigitte with San Diego Seed Company and we operate a one acre certified organic urban farm in San Diego County, California. Kellogg Garden Organics has asked me to do a video on how to get your garden started quickly. One, they always ask, do you start in a container or in ground like we do here on our farm? Well, it depends on your space. If you have enough space to plant directly in the ground and you can amend the soil so that it's good soil, then great, go for it. But a lot of people have to start in pots. So if you're gonna plant in a container, what size do you use? Well, I wanted to show you my tomato plant that I have potted in this container here to show you the size that you really need for happy, healthy tomato plant. This is a 15 gallon pot that we've recycled from another plant that we have purchased. This pot will be plenty big for this tomato to give me lots of fruit throughout the season. Now, if you were to take this tomato plant and plant it in something like this size, you definitely could get some fruit, but there's gonna be several disadvantages. One, the smaller the pot, the quicker the pot will dry out and the more often you have to water it. Additionally, this pot is a little too small for something like a tomato to have really good root development and produce lots of fruit. Now let's say this is all you have size-wise. Well, you know what you can do in here very e easily? Things like leafy greens. Lettuces will grow in here very happily. And we all know that um, leafy greens are always the best when they come from the garden. Okay, so now that you've decided what size of pot you need, what are the absolute minimum things that your garden needs to be really happy? Well. It needs sunlight, so try to place your pots or plant in ground in a full sun spot if you can, because as we all know, plants need sunlight to photosynthesize and be really happy. And next, they need moisture. It's really important that your plants stay evenly moist to be very happy. Now, for a pot, as I would mentioned, the bigger it is, the longer it takes for it to dry out. Something this size, you're probably going to have to check it every single day. Lastly, they need nutrients. And how do you give a plant nutrients? Well, if you use really good potting soil, it will already have some plant food in it. If you're not sure, you could always add a fertilizer like this. This is an all-purpose fertilizer. And you can see the numbers here represent the nutrients that are in the fertilizer. Simply follow the directions on the back and you'll be able to use it in conjunction with your potting soil to make sure your plants have enough nutrients to produce the fruit that you want. So now that you've decided what kind of pot you're gonna use, what do you put in the pot? Well, there's a lot of options out there. There's potting soil, there's garden soil, there's seed starting soil, there's so many different things. Well, the most important factor in your soil is that it's light, it's fluffy, it's gonna allow for moisture to get through and allow for the roots of your plant to grow. So in here, we have a Kellogg's potting mix that we've used to plant this tomato in. Um, but if you don't have enough for a pot, say this big, on the bottom, you could use something more economical like a garden soil, like the big harvest Kellogg bag and fill up the bottom and then put the, the finer stuff on top. Either way, the point is to make sure that your plant can grow its roots through the soil, get nutrients, and the soil will hold on to moisture to keep the plant happy. Okay, so we've talked about how to plant and what to plant in. Now let's talk about how long some crops take. You can see here that it ranges depending on the crop. There's some crops that are really quick in just 30 days. In a month, you can have things like radishes, cilantro, baby greens, basil, and other crops. Some things take a little bit longer. Tomatoes, peppers, squash, eggplant, spring onions, they can take up to three months. Now, it's important to remember that any time you spend in your garden is an investment in a delicious meal you get to eat later. So if you're spending more time at home, make sure you check on your plants every single day. Are they thirsty? Are they getting enough sunlight? Gardening is an investment in the future meals that you're gonna eat from the plants that you produce. And although I can't talk about every single thing you need to learn in this one short video, check out all of our content to become a really great gardener.